Hello and welcome to uh, The Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim episode 3. Shoo, how drunken huntsman. Hmm. What have I got in here? Hmm. No, I don't need to steal anything. Blade and shadow, silence and death. These are my arts. For a modest fee, I'll make great art for you. Hmm. Isn't that something that you can get highlings in this game? I know nothing of fear and nothing of remorse. Pay my fee, and together we will vanquish any foe. Uh, not today. Not. Whoops. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, kinsman. How my heart soars to look upon a brother Bosmer. Please, how can I serve your hunting needs? Why the name Drunken Huntsman? Yes, I hear that question often. My brother Honorieth and I came up with it one night after consuming rather too much mead. After our drinks, we went out for a moonlight hunt. We got separated, and in his drunken state, my brother mistook me for a deer. He shot an arrow that pierced my... well, rump. After such a memorable adventure, we knew we had the name for our shop. Okay, so he was shot the backside. Hmm, who should I talk to for work? Try Holda, the innkeeper at the Bannered Mayor. It's just up the road near the market. You should check in at Dragon's Reach too. There's so much going on these days. The Jarl or his steward might have need of help. Okay, what have you got for sale? What are you hunting? Never mind. I don't want to know. No, you don't. Quite true. <clears throat> hmm. Um. Let's uh, let's keep five or so. Got thirty one, so if I saw twenty six, that should be five remaining. Just I don't know. We may have some sort of need for them. Ugh! Come on. That gave a bit of money. Venison. Hmm. Okay. So what has he got? Hunting bow. One more damage, but it's also quite expensive. Imperial bow. Four more damage. Hmm. Arrows. One arrow is worth three. That's a bit. Steel arrows are worth six. Hmm. And I keep forgetting that necklace, but of course I'm not making any ingredients right now, so or any potions right now, so it's not super important. Um, too spicy for me. Thank you very much for your business. Uh, thank you for buying my meat. This just seems to like anyway, so it's probably a good transaction for him. Okay, items. Apparel. So. Let's see if we like to get around to making some potions. So. Freeze home. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug and brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Be careful for what you wish you might get it. You probably wouldn't be so happy if you actually got it, would you? Hmm. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Hmm. Need any help around the forge? I'm not very good at it, but I'm trying to learn. Yes, actually. How about you smith me an iron dagger? Here's everything you need to make one. Go ahead. Okay. Do you work the forge all day? Aye, that I do. I've got to, if I hope to be as good as Yorland Greymane someday. In fact, I just finished my best piece of work. It's a sword. 
I made it for the Jarl, Balgruf the Greater. It's a surprise. I don't even know if he'll accept it, but... Listen, could you take the sword to my father, Preventus Avenici? He's the Jarl steward. He'll know the right time to present it to him. No, of course. Thanks. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Hmm, can I make that dagger? I don't know. Uh, let's find out. Probably can't. Iron... Dagger. That's a decent weapon you made there. It's probably just a tutorial kind of thing. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in Whiterun. Jorland Greymane's got that honor. Man's steel is legendary. All I ask is a fair chance. That's all you can ask, I suppose. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Yes, an iron dagger. Not bad, but it's a little dull. How about you sharpen it up? Just need a bit of metal and the grindstone over there. Okay. Until next time. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, that allows me to take some stuff from here. I remember some of this, but not all of it. Like a rhinestone grindstone, uh, like a rhinestone cowboy, I was about to say, rhinestone cowboy. Uh, where's the grindstone? Have you met my father? He's a steward up at Dragon's Reach. No, I haven't had the pleasure just yet. I'm trying to work out where the hell your grindstone is. Uh, oh, right in front of me, of course. And dagger. Okay, I can't do that just yet. Uh, it would be nice if it told me what skill I would need, but uh, we'll get there eventually, I suppose. I help my father in more ways than people realize. Well, good on you. Don't forget to check inside the shop if you need anything. Uh, hmm. Actually, uh, an iron dagger. I will have to wait for. Got some good pieces out no. here if you're looking to buy. More inside. Right, you were saying. Uh, he's home. What else can you find? Another drunken huntsman, Vinda. Who are you? I work for Bellathor at the General Goods Store. Come by Bellathor's shop at the market. I'm sure we've got something you need. Uh, quite possibly, yeah. What's that? Looks like a no. Got something for just about everybody in here. Give a holler if you have any questions. I don't want to holler. Everything's for sale, my friend. Everything. If I had a sister, I'd sell her in a second. I wouldn't be surprised. How's business? Interesting, to say the least. But with all that's been going on. On the one hand, supplies are harder to come by since fewer traders are traveling the roads these days. But on the other, the scarcity of supplies has led to some, well, elevated prices. All that matters is that I have what you need, and it's worth every septum. In other words, taking advantage of the situation, I suppose. What brings a Breton to Skyrim? Isn't it obvious? By the wonderful weather and hospitable people, of course. Not to mention my great fondness for dragons and petty political power struggles. Ah, but without a doubt, the most compelling feature of this frozen wasteland is the volley of inane questions leveled at me on a regular basis. You uh, could just say that you 
could be bothered telling me instead of being super sarcastic. I don't like you anymore. Do come back. Well, I'll read it. It's not a very pleasant fellow, is he? Just because you asked what brings him there. of our struggles, our suffering. Nothing. And what of my son? Hmm? Fresh what of Thoros? Is he nothing? So don't talk to me about suffering. I will never accept you. Do you have friend. anything even? My son Ooh, still fresh. lives. I feel it in my heart. I can assure you it's all So fresh. tell me, Battleborn, where is he? Where are you mm -hmm. holding my Thoros? As you say, <laughs> do you believe like this old hat? You don't prepare the meat with all those strange elves. Why? Spices. I've got him in my cell. Maybe some other time I will do that. Ah, shut off. Your son is dead. I must be dying. I'm a storm cloak traitor. I said you will be out of Best keep your mouth shut before you suffer the same. This meat will do. Come on, Father. There's nothing more to be said here. And it all smells wrong. Suit yourself. Um. The woods of that land. I hate when the game is doing that. Having about seven conversations on top of each other. Hmm. All I can think about is my son, my soul. They say that he was killed, but I know better. I know my son is alive. Those battle born, they're in with the Imperials. They know it too, and yet they lie to my very face. How do you know they're lying? It's not wise to discuss it here. Please, if you truly wish to help, meet me at my home. I'll tell you the whole story. Mm -hmm. well, okay. Well, I don't necessarily particularly want to get involved, but that guy was more saying to her that he would kill her if she didn't stop saying her son was alive. Hmm, it was a bit excessive, wasn't it? So, assuming she's going home now, I can speak to her. I used to be an adventurer like you, and I took an arrow in the knee. You should have taken it in the face instead. It's a shame, isn't it? Weeks to find that thief's death. I can't stop now, and I can't get the sword on my own. So you're uh. willing to starve your wife and daughter to reclaim some rusty old money. sword? I just need to hire one. Maybe I don't two have any money. Men. You better give me five septums right now, or I'm gonna bloody your claim. nose. You can claim your sword Ten septums or you tomorrow, can keep baby. Your wife. You look tired, friend. The bannered mare has beds for rent. No, I really don't have any money, Brave. I'll give you. Blah blah blah. Welcome to our home. Okay. Mother, what's the meaning of this? Who have you brought into our home? Uh. Averstein, put that down. He's here to help us find Thorold. How do we know he's not spying for the Battleborn? This was foolish. Uh. We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? I can't take any more of this. No weapons, please. Let's just talk. All right, Mother. So, you're here to help? Uh, I'm not even sure what's going on. My brother Thorald, he was fighting for the Stormcloaks and went missing. Everyone assumes he's dead. But he's not, I just know it. The Imperials captured him and they're holding him someplace. The Battleborns know where. I'd go and search their house for proof, but they want me to. I'd be captured and then we'll never know what happened to him. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Um, I don't necessarily want to support anything Stormcloak related. Hmm. Why do you think the Battleborns are involved? The Battleborns, the Emperor's biggest bootlickers here in Whiterun. Their connections to the Empire and the Legion are well known. When Thorald didn't return home, there was no question in my mind. They knew Thorald supported the Stormcloaks, knew he was gonna aid them in battle. 
Made sure he didn't come back. Locked him up someplace to get back at my family. I'm sure of it. Hmm. What sort of proof do you need? I can always not do the quest, but I'm just curious. Anything that confirms that Thorald isn't dead, but is being held captive. I know those Battleborns have it. They'd be hiding it, of course. Wouldn't want it to get out that they've been lying this whole time. But you might be able to butter them up enough to lower their guard. Uh -huh. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Well, not going to betray you, but... Hmm. Miscellaneous. Missing in action. Hmm. Intriguing. I... I don't know. If only you could help bring my son back to me. You take care of yourself now. Well, I suppose I got something I can do if I'm bored and want to. We're just saying that uh, the Legion's bound to be involved in all that kind of stuff, and uh, I, I, I might be joining in with the Legion, so. Uh, okay, um, there was some here over here somewhere talking about. I ain't done nothing. Are you always drunk? Only if I can help it. But damn if I ain't almost sober. Hey, in the Bannered Mare, there's this bottle of Argonian ale. The good stuff. Get it for me. They won't even know it's gone. Come on. I'm not going to feed your bad habits. Then we got nothing more to talk about. Yeah, have a gold piece. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your kind heart. Sure, whatever. What about you? Who are you? You have come. You have come to hear the word of Talos. What can you tell me about Talos? Hello, my friend. If you seek knowledge about mighty Talos, you have most certainly come to the right person. In mortal life, Talos was a Nord, possessed of unmatched tactical skill, limitless wisdom, and the power to see into men's hearts. Talos mastered the power of the voice, and with it he united the lands of men into a great empire. In southern lands, he was known by the name Tiber Septim. Here in Skyrim, we honor him by his proper Nord name. So great was his reign in life. When he ascended to the heavens, he was made Lord of the Divines. If you want to know more, I'm sure you can find any number of tomes on the subject. So the original Cyber Septum was uh, Nord? Interesting. Why was Talos worship outlawed? Because the so-called Emperor is a coward. That's right, I said coward! Oh yes, he agreed to banish the worship of Talos at the tip of an Aldmeri sword. They called it the White Gold Concordat. Well, I call it blasphemy! A true son of the Empire would never have turned his back on our greatest hero. Not at any price. Well, let me tell you something, friend. Cyrodiil is a long way from here. And in Skyrim, we will never forsake mighty Talos. Aren't you worried you'll be arrested? <laughs> let them come. I have no fear, for Talos is my ally. 
and I am his prophet. His word is upon my lips. His voice in my throat. Along with that, dagger. If you don't shut up to the wrong people, I suppose. <laughs> Not me. People can believe in whatever they want to believe in. I don't care. Why would I? I'm lavender. My favorite drinking buddy. Let's get some meat. You go and get some meat. I'm staying sober. Sober on duty. I don't know what duty is, but uh, lightly armored means light on your feet. Smart. Uh huh. It's a shame, isn't it? Hmm. You are a priestess of Kyrnas. This is the Gilder Green. It was planted as a seedling in the early years of White Run. Disciples of Kinareth could sense something holy in it and traveled far to hear the winds of the goddess in its branches. They built the temple. Of course, not as many pilgrims these days. That's what I was saying in an earlier episode. It is the fact that the. Uh... Never mind. Hmm, why haven't the pilgrims been coming? A big dead tree isn't very inspiring if you're coming to worship the divine of wind and rains. Kinareth gives life, and we need a living tree to be her symbol. Is there any way to revive the tree? I've thought about that. Trees like this never really die, they only slumber. I think if we had some of the sap from the parent tree, we could wake up its child. But even if you could get to the Elder Gleam, you couldn't tap it. Not with any normal metal. What kind of weapon would work? Elder Gleam is older than metal, from a time before men or elves. To even affect it, you have to tap into the old magic. You'll have to deal with the Hag Ravens. I've heard about the weapon they've made for sacrificing Spriggans. It's called Nettlebane. The hags terrify me, or I would have gone after it myself. Hmm. Well, let's be optimistic. I'll get Nettlebane for you. Your spirit is strong. Kinareth's winds will guide your path. It's held in a Hagraven nest called Orphan Rock. Looking to do some hunting? Avoid Brittle Shin Pass. It's southeast of here. Meh, uh, okay. You know what, I would rather be told where I need to go, not where I'm not supposed to go. It's not very helpful, but there was someone saying something about a sword, wasn't there? Oh. Looking for my husband, Nazim? Check the Jarl's backside. That's usually where he stuffs himself these days. Oh, charming. Your armor, I'd say you're an Imperial Are you married? Scout. You look the type. So well met. Make sure you treat your wife with the respect she deserves. Well, that depends on what she has to deserve to respect. Hmm. I used to be an adventurer like you. Yeah, yeah, you said. Um, where the heck was that guy? Because I, 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 I like finding side quests and things like that. What's the matter? You can't stand the sight of a strong Nord woman? Uh, whatever. Is there anything you can tell me about uh, Thorold? It's been a while now. I miss him, but it's clear he's not coming back. He knew what he was getting into. I don't... I don't blame anyone. Okay... Yeah, take care. Aha. Uh -huh. Intriguing. Um. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you don't. Hmm. What's a hint of arrogant air about him? Hmm. Oh, so, uh, excuse me. You're just a simple commoner and I'm someone very important. You tried uh. mercenary work? It might suit you. It might. Sometimes I miss the soldier's life, but when I hold my daughter in my arms, I know I made the right choice. Uh, what were you two arguing about? Apparently I've overheard an argument. My sapphire doesn't like that I've been spending so much time looking for my ah. father's old sword. He fed his entire family with the gold he made using that weapon. 
I'm not about to let it gather dust in some thief's trophy room. Do you need help finding the sword? I tracked it to a group of bandits nearby, but I'm no fool. I'd need the white run guards or maybe hire the companions to get it. I don't know why I'm saying this, but if you find it out in your travels, I'd be grateful to you. I will bear that in mind. You're not from Skyrim, are you? No, he doesn't look like the other Nords. Let's just ask the obvious question. Why not? No, I'm not. Looks like we've got something in common then. No, I'm a Red Guard. My family hails from the Imperial Province. Ah, but I left home when I was just a lad. Been wandering ever since. Hmm, okay. If you find that sword, please bring it to me. I shall do what I can. How's Greymane? Well, that was okay. <clears throat> sure, anything else we need to do? A map, a uh, local map. Well, we got. Um, Temple of Kunis. Screaming, not screaming, Amon Sars. Why does that name sound familiar? Hmm. House of Clan Battleborn, they sound like. Gets. All of the dead. No, I'm not going to go into the crypt. Thank you very much. The companions are very close to fighter skill. What's that? Something. I should probably reread the manual, but I haven't bothered. So, you know what? Um, let's go back up. Uh, let's go up to the thingy here. <clears throat> you should talk to the Yara of Dragon's Reach. Lend the yeah, well, I will. Uh, all in time. Hoppla! But unfortunately, that will have to be for the next part. I shall go and speak to the Yarl in the next episode. So, um, thanks for watching. Take care and see you again. Bye-bye.